Welcome back to Hannity. Disgraced Congressman turned New York City mayoral candidate Anthony Weiner found himself in hot water yet again last month when more lewd pictures and texts sent by him surfaced on the internet. And my next guest was one of the women who received those messages. Joining me now to discuss her online relationship with Anthony Weiner, the one and only Sydney Leathers. How are you? Good to see you. I'm great. It's nice to finally meet you. I feel like we're old pals from our radio interview. Yeah, well, she was on my radio show. Well, you would, people said that I was going to be mean to you, and you thought that this was. What did they say? You thought I was going to be mean. Why did you think that? Well, I kind of thought that you might attack me just because we obviously have some political differences. Right. But I will say, on the other hand, it's not surprising that you're nice to me because I'm taking down a Democrat. If I, if I were going after a Republican, I think it might be a little different. You know, actually, I want good, honest people in government that aren't phonies. Do you? And that's both parts. Yeah, you, I, I'm so sick of the I'm So sick you don't of like Senator, Senator David Vitter? You don't have a problem? I don't, pro I, I, you no, don't have honestly, a problem with him and his I prostitutes? I, I do. I do. And I think it's a fair point that you make. Thank you. And but I really want. I think we can. I I think there's a better group of people that we can elect, and we don't elect them. It's true. You know. All right. Let me. Ask, so let's start with Weiner. Okay. Um, how did all this happen? How did how did this begin? Um, in 2011, I messaged him on Facebook, chastising him for his behavior with the first scandal, and he did not respond for about nine months. And when he did, he poked me on Facebook, and then added. Explain poking for those that may not know us old folks. Um, basically, poking is kind of a way to get someone's attention, kind of a flirty type of thing. Right, but you so, had chastised him. I did. All right, so he, but he also knew that I was a fan of his, so it was like a double edged sword there. All right, so walk us through. Then what happens from there? Then nine months later, he um, said that he was sorry that he let me down. Had, he poked me, said he was sorry he let me down, added me as a friend, then started to compliment me on my appearance, on my political views, my writing. I mean, just anything you can think He's of. He's laying it on thick. How oh, quickly yeah. did that evolve into what we now know it evolved into? Within days. Really? Yeah. Now, what are you thinking? At, you're what, 23 years old? I was you, 22 at the time. 22 at the, what are you thinking when he starts the flirty stuff? Um, in a way, I was shocked, but I was also flattered because, like I said, I had this man on a pedestal even after the first silly scandal. So, yeah, I was flattered. Yeah, all right, but you're not, you're, tw you're 22 at the time. You're an adult, a young adult, mm -hmm. and you, you went along with this. I did. Why? Um, I think the thrill of the situation was part of it. I was intrigued. I wanted to know why he was talking to me. I just was interested. And you know he's married? Yeah, I did know he was married, yes. And you know he's in, what, he's 40, 50 years old, whatever age? Yeah, he's 48 now. Okay. Did you find, and so you would have phone sex with him, and how often would he call you? Uh, the most he ever called me was about five times in a day, which is a lot. Four phone sex? Yeah. 48 years old, married. <laughs> what are you thinking? I mean, obviously, he is maybe not getting the attention he needs at home. Did you ever talk about that? Um, not really. It just was very obvious. Yeah. Did you find it creepy, like he's a creepy old man? Yeah, he actually described himself to me as an argumentative, perpetually horny middle-aged man in the beginning, and that was very true. What did you learn from this uh, whole experience? Well, I deleted my Facebook, <laughs> so that's a start. Yeah. Um, obviously, don't meet your heroes. That's a big thing uh, because you realize how human they are. They have flaws. They're not the. Per they're definitely not who you think they are. How bad do you feel now? This first of all, his. He was winning at the time this came out, and he now was. he's down to about 10%. Are you happy about that? I am happy about that because he was only winning because he was lying. Mm. That's, the, that's the problem. Did he there. talk about his relationship with his wife? Uh, very little. Um, he talked about his cats more than he talked about his wife or child. I, I, you know, I'm really afraid to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. Apparently, he disliked me the most out of. Yeah. I'm actually proud of that on the other side. He, he said you were the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and you at the time, you told me I'm ready, you agreed with him. Well, I didn't say you were the worst. I actually was expecting him to say a colleague in the house. So I was thinking of, you know, Michelle Bachman or some nut that I don't like. Right. But he said you. So, yeah. All right. What if, because you're now, t you're going to a gentleman's club in New York tonight. Right, but let's be clear. I'm I'm hosting. I'm not stripping or doing anything like that. All right, but and then you did these pictures, and I this did. guy wants you to do pornographic movies. Why would you do that with your life? Why Why does that is that door even open for you? 
I think just because I'm open with my sexuality, and I don't think there's a problem with women being open with their sexuality, you know. It turns into slut shaming the second a woman is open and honest about her sexuality. No, but that. men get away with bad behavior all the time. Ask me if my, for my son or my daughter if I would prefer they be a doctor, lawyer, or professional, or to do that. Well, yeah, what, but I'm not your son or daughter. No, you're not. That's true. But but have you talked to your parents? Are they okay with all that? My dad is the greatest guy in the world. He loves me unconditionally, and I would assume you love your children. I do, but sometimes I disagree with some of their decisions. Does he agree with this? I think whatever. I decide to do. I'm an adult, and he's going to love me no matter what and stand by me. He's a great man. I'm very lucky. Do you feel bad about his wife, what she's gone through? That I, that's the part that gets me the most, honestly. Yes, I do feel badly for her, but on the other hand, she obviously enables him and stands by this behavior repeatedly. So it's hard. You know, you feel bad, but then again, she sticks by him. So. Yeah. Well, so in that sense, she knows what's going on. That's, and it's confusing in that way. you think he's capable of changing, or is it impossible? But I mean, don't you think he would have changed when he got help the first time? That's a good point. All right, stay right there. We're going to come back. I want to play a couple things that uh, Mr. Weiner said. We'll have more with Sydney Leathers right after the break. And with Sydney Leathers, you said something in the break. I said to you, well, what, do you, what will you think about if you do this pornography movie at 50? And what did you, you said... <laughs> I said I might not live that long. No, you said you don't want to live that long. <laughs> Why? I did say that. Crew? I said I, I just said I did say that. You did I wasn't say that. denying it, yeah. But you want to live to 50, right? You want to live I don't know. Long? I don't know. Really? Really. 40? I can maybe. We'll see. Depend, really? We'll see. We'll do some Botox. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, don't go near that stuff either. All right. Anthony Weiner was asked about his wife. She's still involved in the campaign. Let me get your reaction to this. Is Huma still working on the campaign? She's helping out every day. Um, is, is, um, do you know what her role in, in Hillary's 2016 campaign is going to be? I do. And what will it be? I'm not telling you. <laughs> right. Did he talk about Hillary at all? Um, no, he didn't talk about Hillary at all with me, but that doesn't really surprise me. And I think a lot of the time when we were speaking, Huma was probably with Hillary. So There was a moment here, let me play this, where he drops the F-bomb when talking about New York City bike lanes. I want to get your reaction to this. <laughs> I once made a joke when... Uh... My, I said it to Mike Bloomberg, and this was in the height of a lot of the controversy about the bike lanes. You know, I said the first thing I was going to do as mayor was hold a press conference tearing out your, this is the internet, right, tearing out your <laughs> bike lanes. And it was, it was a joke. Is there this side of these politicians, in this case, Wiener, that no, everyone would be shocked to know? Yeah, and oddly enough, I kind of enjoy that side of him. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, have fun at the Gentleman's Club tonight. I will. Thank you, you have, for being with us. You, you have fun on Fox News. I will. Uh, Thank you for coming.